Hello. Oh, God, it's half two. Welcome back to another weekly vlog. Let me just pull up a chair. <laughs> Can you guys see me? Oh, my mask always gets stuck behind my earrings when I try to take it off. Okay, I'm far too far away. Hold on. Okay, hopefully that is better. Today is Thursday and it marks one week since Jess and I got the keys to this house. That's gone by so quickly. <laughs> we have spent pretty much every day of the past week stripping wallpaper, ripping out wardrobes. I've been back to the house during the day to meet builders. I had my lunch here yesterday. So I was literally here all day yesterday meeting people. And today I bought a coffee. I don't know why I have this thermos at home, but it's very handy because if I don't have a coffee straight after lunch, I get a caffeine headache. Like I am addicted and I need a coffee. And at the moment, since we've been in lockdown, like we're just not used to talking to people for long periods of time. And I just find it so draining. So, oh, hold on. I find it so draining. This builder that we just had come around actually, he was here for quite a long time, um, an hour and a half, which is more than most people. He was very chatty, but actually he gave me loads of information and it was very useful to have him because he's the third builder that we've had. This guy was recommended by a friend of mine and he did warn me this guy is expensive. But what I liked about him was he said, why do you want your walls plastered? They're fine. And... The other two builders were like, it needs to be done. And he was like, people will just say that to you because obviously they want more work. Ah, oh. coffee. But anyway, it's 2.30 p.m. I'm not gonna do any DIY today. I'm gonna go home, make dinner, have dinner, and come back in the evening with Jess. And we need to continue stripping wallpaper which is basically our life at the moment. But what I was gonna say is you don't wanna see us just stripping wallpaper in every room that is really repetitive and a bit boring to watch. Um, but I don't think we're moving in in two weeks or four weeks, maybe not even six weeks. The work that we need doing is gonna take quite a long time. Somebody yesterday, a couple of days ago, said two to three months to us, so it may be quite a long time before we move in. But it's it's fine, because at least the house is ours and we know that we have a house. So that there's no like real urgency to move in. Obviously it is very expensive paying council tax for two properties and bills. Like we try not to put the heating on here. Um, we obviously use electricity because we have to, but we've got like a little storage, not storage heater, an electric fan heater thing. So we try and just, put that on in one room because it's not winter at the moment and so the pipes are not going to freeze and burst it's been quite warm outside even though i'm wearing a black jumper but yeah so for now i'm going to go finish my coffee and make some notes actually of a few things this guy told me about just now before i forget and i will see you probably later this evening or one day this week good morning happy saturday today is week two we've officially had the keys for about 10 days i think we're planning to spend all day here. I'm just waiting for a builder who should actually have been here five minutes ago. So I'm gonna have somebody else come around to have a look. And we are stripping wallpaper, but I haven't vlogged much this week because I have been back to the house. Why am I still wearing this? <laughs> I have been back to the house almost every day during the day, meeting builders and structural engineers and people. And then I've been rushing home cooking dinner or defrosting something from the freezer and then having dinner and coming back in the evenings with Jess to do a bit more wallpaper stripping. So it's been kind of boring. There's nothing really exciting to see. <laughs> we have some builder's masks. We have quite a few tools that my uncle gave us, but I don't like wearing them because they don't go around your ears. You have to like put them over your head. And I feel like it's just not gonna fit in my head, but also and I feel like it's just going to flatten my hair and be really uncomfortable, so it's fine, I'm just ripping wallpaper, that's why I'm wearing one of these. And I thought I'd just keep it on while I have this builder guy come around, who... No, that's a roof guy. <laughs> so yeah, that is our plan for today. We are hoping to get the living room finished. We've just taken the curtains off, otherwise I would have shown you around, but you can see the whole street. <sighs> 
we're hoping to get the living room finished today and um, rip up all the wardrobes and potentially get the back bedroom the little box room done right jess yeah that's kind of our plan um at the moment we're just doing anything that we can do ourselves by ourselves while getting quotes from builders and then hopefully they can start work as soon as possible so yeah there hasn't really been much to show for this week oh and my builder guy is here so i gotta go Sunday everyone I feel like I've started this vlog about four times now in the past few days I keep coming on here doing an intro and then just forgetting to record anything else but today is Sunday and we got to the house this morning and we literally got here at 5 to 11 and I had a zoom meeting thing and now it is I don't have a watch what time is it in fact yep yeah. okay it's 12 35 so I've been sat here <laughs> like literally in the kitchen extension part for an hour and a half while Jess has been getting on with some stuff we have the blinds and curtains open and we have a garden gate on this side so while I'm sat here like on my zoom thing Jess just walked in he was I could see him talking to somebody and I was like who like what's going on and I I don't know what he's done um some he came in with some man with a sofa I don't know Jess Jazz? He can't hear me. I think he's playing with his drone upstairs. But yeah, it's already 12.30 and once again we've done nothing. In fact, this whole week we haven't done much DIY in this house because I've been meeting builders and architects here in the afternoons, in the mornings and going home to kind of cook dinner or defrost something in the freezer, have dinner and then we've been back here by about 6.30 every evening well most evenings to do a bit of, like wallpaper stripping but it's not been that exciting it's definitely been a labor of love because the wallpaper in the living room is a complete nightmare it's lining paper and somebody's like obviously painted over it two or three times but like in that like gloss like satin finish paint and oh it's just so difficult to remove so yeah that has been such a process but i think we're like 90 or 95 percent done which is great today we want to kind of finish ripping out all the wardrobes and just do as much as we can really we don't want to spend all day here we were here at the house all day yesterday but we didn't really do much because we just had builders come around and each builder that comes around is here for at least an hour and a half, you know, seeing everything that we want done and talking us through it and stuff. So it's not a waste of time because obviously that's the first thing that we need to get done. But it is, it eats into your time that you have to actually do DIY. But because it's a Sunday and, you know, we're here earlier than we would be in an evening, it's quite good because we can do like noisier work without disturbing the next door neighbours which is i.e. ripping out wardrobes. We have an elderly lady that lives next door and we didn't want to be ripping out wardrobes in the evenings um, in the bedroom because obviously that could potentially be the room next to her bedroom and we, don't, we just don't know like how noisy it would be, especially when the property is empty. So we thought we would just be a little bit considerate, not piss our neighbours off straight away or ever, hopefully, um, and just do noisier work at the weekends during the day because I very much doubt she's in her bedroom um, at lunchtime. Actually, my parents came around yesterday. They had to make an essential trip to London. So obviously, while they were here, just up the road, they came to see the house, which was really nice. It was actually really nice to show them around and get some like helpful advice from my dad, especially because he has a lot of like experience with renovating properties and just taking on projects like these. So we got some useful information. We got some really sad news though. We have a tree in the garden. I haven't shown you guys a garden yet. And I think it's a cherry blossom. Or maybe not. I don't know. I think it maybe looks like a cherry blossom. I have no idea. That tree has caused a lot of damage. And it is basically broken our garage roof. The garage is just like a shell. It needs to be completely redone. The windows are all smashed in. The doors don't exist. It's just bricks, basically. But it's damaged the roof. And the tree 
it's going to continue to do a lot more damage like the path is all uneven because of the roots and so my parents were like it needs to go because in future you won't get insured because of the roots of the tree and it's really sad because I love cherry blossoms I mean even if it isn't a cherry blossom it's a very pretty tree and oh I'm really sad about that one of the nicest things actually about my parents coming around yesterday is my mum bought us a ton of food because I haven't really had time to cook at the moment at home and it's really difficult when we're here all day because this kitchen is just filthy like it's super grimy yeah we have two thermoses full of coffee my mum has made I bought some grapes the other day from m and my mum has basically made us a ton of food that doesn't really require plates although we have some disposable plates somewhere so that's going to be our lunch in a bit but let's do some work first i think we can't just spend all day sitting around on zoom and then just eating okay so this is our garage <laughs> like i said it's a complete shell the windows have been completely smashed in and yeah <laughs> I wouldn't really feel very safe standing in here to be honest and I think they put this beam in my parents were saying because it looks like it's just holding the structure up but there's a big hole in the roof and we think that it's because of this tree which is such a shame because it is a massive tree I don't know if you know what tree this is leave it in the comments down below but whatever it is causing a lot of damage as you can see I'm really quite sad about this wow Jas has just finished this little bit off while I was on my zoom call and this has really opened the room up we've had probably about six or seven maybe builders come around and every single one of them when they've come into this room they were like, wow, the previous owners really loved wardrobes, didn't they? <laughs> They've covered every single wall in them. And now this is making me really reconsider whether this should be the master bedroom or not. Obviously, there's like, yeah, a lot of stuff going on here. Because I'm actually trying to sell these on Facebook because A, that will save us money on getting a skip. But also, you know, add to the wardrobe slash renovation fund a little bit so <laughs> but it's very confusing because there's so many wardrobes i don't really know how to price these things up um and also what people pay for them second hand but because they're now dismantled and we did it last saturday and today is now sunday just over a week later i can no longer remember which bit of wood goes with which wardrobe and also like what these screws are all for and where all the hangy rails are yeah it's just a little bit too much we have screws all over the place and it's a little bit of a nightmare along with some carpet samples that was a little bit premature but you know so yeah this is um hopefully this room will be done and then it'll just be a case of stripping wallpaper getting rid of the bits of picture rail that they have up um very strange places it's obviously a fake one not like an original feature um because it isn't all the way around the room and they've also cut it off in weird places and around the corner so yeah that is this room once again the ceiling light just isn't in the center of the room and this is a horrible artex ceiling i mean a lot of builders did say to me you could live with it it's not that big of a deal and i was like no i've lived with an artex ceiling in our flat for 15 years i absolutely hate them with a passion it just needs to go so let's all just pray that it's within our budget to do this all at the same time but yeah i just thought i would document our progress so far and hopefully we're just tying up loose ends and getting some noisy stuff done today so i'll take you along with me for that but actually my battery's flashing already so i'm gonna put this on charge do a bit of work and maybe have some lunch and then come back nish wanted to do this for a very long time <laughs> i've wanted to do this since probably the first time we viewed this house because this just oh this just needs to go <laughs> What does it even say? Love, laughter, happily ever after. I thought it said live, laugh, love, which is just as bad. 
Go on, put some money into it. Hmm? Just strip your apron. I'll rip you off. Just in case somebody actually wants to buy it. Who wants to buy that? No, the wardrobe, not this. I was going to say. <laughs> Nobody wants to buy this. Right, you got. <gasps> it's gone, it's gone, almost. You got the flowery this bit thing. This is fine, this was just oh, hideous, absent. We could scrape it off. Oh no, come on. We're almost there. At the finish line. There. Yes! Yay! Hello, it is Tuesday afternoon and I'm back at the house by myself because I have not much to do this afternoon. I'm going to get a head start on stripping some wallpaper in this room. Let me just put this camera around and show you. So, you may remember there were all these fitted wardrobes and bits in that corner last week and somebody came last night and bought these wardrobes which is great because that was the biggest sort of unit and it's cleared up tons of space so i made a start on that wall yesterday in between them collecting bits i've still got quite a lot to do and i think this room was recently replastered by recently i mean sometime in the last like 20 years because this plaster is coming straight off the walls let me try and show you i'm just waiting for my wallpaper steamer to warm up but there it's coming off quite easily so hopefully oh, there you go it's coming off relatively easily so this room will definitely have to be replastered i'm going to try and get as much of it off as i can this is very dusty work so i'm conscious of getting my camera dirty but this is what i mean about the plaster just coming off quite easily it's quite thick as well so i'm glad it's coming off ready for a fresh oh i really need to wear a mask when i'm doing this actually the dust is a nightmare ah. Ooh, big hole in that wall Ta -da. it's coming up to 5 30 it's so cold in this house i'll just turn the heating off a while ago but i'm going to do a little bit more wallpaper stripping before i go i think it doesn't really look like i've made a dent it's very annoying it's very time consuming hard work and because the walls are painted white behind the wallpaper that i'm stripping it doesn't look like i've done much today i spent a lot of time on facetime showing people the house and I feel like I'm giving them the grand tour because people can't come around at the moment, obviously. I want to do a little bit more before I go home because I'm getting hungry as well. Let me show you my progress. Oh, let me show you my progress so far. I'm in a different bedroom at the moment, but... So I have done this wall on the right, as you can see. But like I said, you can't really tell because the wallpaper is a similar colour to the wall. And this is so hard to get off. I'm going to have to bring some more tools upstairs. Um, to make some holes in the wallpaper and then put the we've got some solution that um, loosens the glue but I haven't done that yet so I keep forgetting to bring it and I'm downstairs then I've done a lot of this wall this plaster is stuck and it's very difficult to remove but it's also a little bit annoying because this plasterboard's come off this side won't so it's definitely raised I have to try and attempt that but I've still got some just say juice water left in this machine in fact let me turn it on to heat up while i do this i'm gonna do a little bit more before i go home because i just think i'm gonna be stuck in rush hour traffic anyway so that's the plan and then i might be back tomorrow afternoon to do a bit more
I tried my hardest to get rid of this picture rail, but it's just not budging. I mean, I've lifted it away from the wall at this side, but um, I think it's really glued down on this end, but also I have no idea if it goes like all the way into the wardrobe or not, so I'm gonna have to leave it for now, but I really just wanted to get it down. But you know when you just try really hard because you want to get one thing done and it just doesn't work? So that's really annoyed me. I'm also not entirely sure if I can touch these bits because that may be our text although i did accidentally take a little bit off it's very dusty in here i keep forgetting to wear my face mask but i'm not sure if it's safe for me to remove that myself so i might just leave that for now i'm going to try and get this all done today i also just bought this upstairs with me so i keep forgetting but this is oh, i don't know what this is called actually my uncle gave it to us but it's got like really sharp little feet and you're supposed to Roll it around like so. This is all speckledy, but you may be able to see the little holes it's made and then spray it with the wallpaper remover solution. We bought a bottle, but we've since learned that you can also use fairy liquid and water diluted. Just so it can seep through and start to loosen the glue because this is really tough, this bit to remove. So hopefully I can get that bit done today. Then I'll feel like I've done this room because I can't do this bit yet anyway because we need to remove the shelves and that wardrobe needs to be removed but then aside from that this room will pretty much be done i feel like i'm inhaling so much dust and just fumes and crap so i'm gonna have to remember just just to keep this mask here and wear it for diy stuff i'm also well aware that the whole street can see me vlogging but i've just made all those little holes like i just showed you and i have my solution in this little spray bottle and I've just been oh, spraying it down, trying to get it as wet as possible so that it's easier to peel. Because this lining paper is a bitch. Okay, so my battery is about to die because of all these time lapses, so I thought I'd just show you my progress. This is all in about half an hour, but this is so difficult. Like the other wall, it's all plasterboard and I've got to be really careful around the electrics like so. <sighs> this is a nightmare. This is future Nishi coming at you to end this video because I've just been editing it and I've realised that my battery on my camera actually died while I was filming that last clip, so it actually cut me off what I was saying. I can't even remember what it was, but I feel like this is a good time to end this video because it's getting quite long and I really hope you enjoyed watching Jas and I attempt some DIY in our first week of owning a house, which is very exciting. There is more DIY and home renovation stuff to come, so please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I'll see you next week with some more home renovation-y type stuff. Thanks for watching. Bye.